Hi. Let's learn about cost of equity. The cost of equity is the return that a company requires to decide if an investment meets capital return requirements. It's like the return you expect to make on an investment, which helps a company evaluate if it's worth pursuing. The cost of equity is calculated using the dividend capitalization model and the capital asset pricing model, known as CAPM. The cost of equity is calculated using the dividend capitalization model, which involves dividing the dividends per share for the next year by the current market value of the stock, and then adding the growth rate of dividends. The formula for the cost of equity is, cost of equity equals DPS divided by CMV plus GRD, where DPS equals dividends per share for next year, CMV equals current market value of stock, and GRD equals growth rate of dividends. The cost of equity tells us how much return is required on an investment in equity if you're the investor, or it determines the required rate of return on a particular project or investment if you're the company. It's important to understand the cost of equity when a company is deciding how to raise capital, whether through debt, which is cheaper but must be repaid, or through equity, which generally costs more than debt capital. The dividend capitalization model is used to calculate the cost of equity, but it requires that a company pays dividends. On the other hand, the capital asset pricing model, or CAPM, can be used even if the company does not pay dividends and is based on the stock's volatility and level of risk compared to the general market. The cost of equity is often higher than the cost of debt, and the weighted average cost of capital includes both the cost of equity and the cost of debt when a company seeks additional capital. The cost of capital is the total cost of raising capital, which takes into account both the cost of equity and the cost of debt. Companies generally compare the cost of equity to the cost of debt when considering strategic maneuvers to raise additional capital from external sources. Understanding the cost of capital and the cost of equity is crucial when determining the best way to raise capital and the expenses a company must return to investors based on prevailing costs. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Cost of equity is the return that a company requires for an investment or project, or the return that an individual requires for an equity investment. 2. The formula used to calculate the cost of equity is either the dividend capitalization model or the CAPM. 3. The downside of the dividend capitalization model, despite being simpler and easier to calculate, is that it requires that the company pays a dividend. 4. The cost of capital generally calculated using the weighted average cost of capital, includes both the cost of equity and the cost of debt. 5. Companies often compare the cost of equity to the cost of debt when considering strategic maneuvers to raise additional capital from external sources. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.